Right on the go. But you're, look, you're going to have fun, okay? Because you have so much. You are fun. You're on the beach. You serve mm -hmm. seafood, and it's great food. We've lured in Chef Jason Hughes with us from the incredible Fish House. People love you guys so much, Thank you. and for good reason. Yeah. Thanks for bringing your, um, your seafood world to our kitchen. Absolutely. Yeah, let's talk about the Fish House. <laughs> Been around for a while, no? Twenty eight years. Wow. Twenty seven years. Okay, mm -hmm. and what uh, you obviously love serving? Oh wow! Well, Look at these pictures. Yeah, there what we are. What a fun vibe! Big, Talk huge. about some of your favorite things about the Fish House. Uh, I like the history. It's cool. It's a really cool spot. It's a great company. Um, we we're called the Fish House for a reason, right? It's fresh fish. We get it delivered six days a week, and we pick it up on Sundays. So I mean, it's all super fresh. Um, a lot of fun. Big menu that we're, we're coming to a place now where we're kind of like updating and changing a lot, so it's neat. Um, you know, we're a restaurant group. We have three sister restaurants right now, and we're actually opening a fifth. It's some of what we came here to talk about today. And why we're doing oysters is we're reopening um, our co-located sister restaurant, at Atlas Oyster House, in the next few months. So we want to kind of show off some of that today. Perfect. Um, but, you know, the Fish House is known for the gritsy yaya, the shrimp and grits dish. Um, you know, it's just a, a lot of history, fresh food, good times, a uh, huge deck bar. We're, we're waterfront and we're downtown, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of yeah, That's right. You have to us. be yeah. in the historic downtown or right there mm -hmm. on the water. Mm -hmm. um, really beautiful and right there in Pensacola. I mean, you could just hop in the car Absolutely. and be there in a day, which I love. Can I bring the star of the show out Do of the oven? Wanna, yeah, you feel so free. So excited. I just this snuck way, a peek. Tell us what floor, you're showing off it. today. So we're going to do three different kinds of oysters today. Uh, we're going to do some raw ones. These are Murder Point oysters. They come from Bayou La Battery, Alabama, which is, do you like a little help? You know, I'm just going to, you Sorry. look like an old pro at this. Here. Here's what we'll do. No, you just hold on to them and I'll just take them right Oh off. my goodness, go. look at those kitchen hands. He's like, cut out of the oven. I don't even feel the heat. Feel nothing. Okay, what are we looking at here? So the ones in front are a new creation. This is uh, Atlas's little homage to the fish house. We're calling these oysters a yaya. So we kind of take all the flavors from Gritsy Yaya, which is our signature dish. Ooh, ooh, um, ooh. They have, it is a uh, cream sauce with white wine, um, garlic and shallots. It's really super rich. It has applewood bacon, mushrooms. Um, all that's cooked down that goes on top of the oyster. We put smoked Gouda cheese because one of the big things for the fish house is the smoked Gouda grits that go on the Gritsy Yaya. Yum. Um, so the Gouda cheese goes on there in like a gratin breadcrumb. Um, it's just really rich. A little smoky from the Gouda kind of reminds you of the, the shrimp and grits CIA. So I think it's pretty neat. I think these are actually really good. We kind of just thought about this one day and tried it, and the first batch was like, well, that's really good. That's, oh, a, so that's a pretty good you one. You know what? When the chefs get together and yeah. say, wow, we just nailed it, yeah. that's like it a happen. Yeah. Trust me, it doesn't happen often, but that was a good one right there. <laughs> so the yayas are the ones that we're definitely ordering up. Okay. Yeah. And then these are our oysters, Rockefeller. It's obviously a pretty classic. Um, it is classic. Pretty classic what's oyster in there. Dish. What are they? In at well in ours, um, it's kind of like a cream spinach with bacon, um, oh, gotcha. and it's got Pernod like an anise liqueur. Mm -hmm. um, there's obviously with a lot of these kind of classic dishes, there's endless debate but, about what was the original sure. one, what was really in it. It's, everyone kind of agrees it was green herbs of some sort because it's supposed to be like John Rockefeller and make you feel rich. You know, that's what it's supposed <laughs> that's to be. That's the money, right? the yeah, herbs. That's the money, the green. <laughs> Um, okay. Some places don't do hollandaise at all. Some places do breadcrumbs. Actually, we put a little hollandaise sauce on top of ours. Oh, you do? And, okay, uh, let me get out of the way. Well, they're already on there. So we oh, put it on is? top and then we boil oh, it. Oh, because you boil it? Yeah, oh, so I think it. it's cool. It looks, it looks nice. It's, it gives it kind of a nice caramelized kind of flavor and texture on top. This you could just drink it smell. straight out there. You really it's really can. Good. It it's smells it's, your it's holiday really sauce. I, you guys you make it in-house. It's so beautiful. We make it at least twice a day in-house. Wow. Every four hours, so you got to get rid of it. Okay, got about a minute left. Are you going to show us right, how yeah. to shuck these? I can. What um, I want to show you how to do you real quick is um, the Murder Point oysters out of Bayou Battery, what we were talking about, one of the things we'll be doing at Atlas is everyone's going to come with a, a kind of a signature mignonette. Yeah. A little sauce to go on them. So this is fresh chopped shallots and fresh cracked black pepper. This is tamari, like a kind yeah. of a gluten-free soy sauce alternative. Seasoned rice vinegar. And this right here is the secret weapon. It's a little something called yuzu kosho. It's a uh, yuzu rind, which is like a Japanese citrus fruit uh, that's used to pickle chilies. Oh, wow. And it makes it into like a paste. So we mix all this together. And we get a big little blob on our finger that we'll clean up in a minute. Yeah. I'm, I'm no okay. camera there, please. <laughs> Look at this, not me. I want to smell, I want to smell <laughs> this stuff. It's spicy. <laughs> I'm glad that the director wasn't on that shot. Carol's dropping things. But I say it's spicy. It's mildly oh, it's spicy. Good. But yeah, it's, it's very fragrant, very citrusy. Okay. Um, 
And then, As uh, we wrap things up, what, yeah, what do we do with set we take sauce? Our little, we take our little mignonette and just a little bit goes on each oh, one of these oysters. Oh, wow, oysters. okay. Of course, these will be on crushed ice and sure. ice cold. But it's just that beautiful topping. Pretty little All right, topping dabble some over the finger. Yeah, well, I want to try it. Try. Well, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Oyster. You drink I know, beer, well, right? I, I got I to talk about where you guys are. <laughs> you know it. You saw the beautiful pictures. The Fish House and Atlas Oyster House are located on the waterfront, downtown Pensacola, You've also got Fish House has a location downtown as well. So whether you're by the water or downtown, perfect. GreatSouthernRestaurants.com is where you can go. See everything Pensacola has to offer. Start planning your vacation. Visit Pensacola.com has mapped it all out for you. Quick and easy, just a day drive. We'll be back after the break. You're watching today in Nashville. These look so good. Good evening.